Once you've got your courses backed up and it's the new school year, you are ready to import your material into your new courses. So you can see here I've landed on a blank new course. Let's say this is the next school year. In order to bring all of that content in or some of it, what I'm going to do is click on where it says Add Materials and I'm going to select the option that says Import from Resources. Now when you go to Import from Resources, you will look for the collection where you or folder where you had stored your backups from the previous school year. So let's say I go into this particular folder and you can see I have backups for a number of my different courses here. Now you might not necessarily want to bring in all of the contents of your old courses all at once. So if I click on the title of one of my backed up courses, this is then going to drill down into the other different um, folders that I have within that particular course. So let's say I just want to import one folder at a time or one assignment at a time. So I'll just take the first unit here and I'll click import. Now, depending on the types of content you have in that folder, it's going to ask you to make some adjustments to some of the different materials. Because remember, these are things you have already assigned um, the previous school year with due dates from the previous year. So all of those things have to be adjusted. Keep in mind, these two things over here, these are ed puzzles. So these are two things suggested not to import because this is not something native to Schoology. So I'm going to uncheck those. Any ed puzzles or anything Castle Learning Delta Math should be inserted from scratch again if you want to make sure that it's going to work correctly. So if I go to the advanced options underneath any of my other materials that I'm going to import, you can see here I have to pick a category. So you do want to set up your grading categories before you do this. You also want to make sure you set up the due date that's going to be reflective of the new school year. So let's say I'm having this due September 8th. I am enabling submissions on this, so I have that set up. Any other changes that you want to make or are required to make, you can do right here, and you can do it for each one of your assignments all at once if you would like to. So I'm just going to do that one for now, and I can always go back and edit the other ones after. So I'm going to click Import. So this is going to bring my Unit 1 folder with all the contents, saving me a lot of time from having to create everything from scratch, even though we do have to make adjustments to all the materials that are in here. So when I go into here, you notice I have other things in here that I'm going to have to click the edit button and, uh, whoops, and adjust so that it is reflecting the new school year. So if I go to my edit button here, you can see here I don't have a due date, I don't have a category, so these are things that I would need to adjust for any of these assignments, particularly if they don't match up with the previous school year. So this is just a little quick overview of how to bring content in from previous courses that are saved to your Schoology resource into your new courses.